relational study is a way to measure relationships between two different variables. So basically we're asking, is there a relationship between one thing and the other? So for example, alcohol use and depression. Are the two connected in some way? However, the only thing is we can't say um, that alcohol is causing depression or depression is causing people to drink more. We just know that they're connected. It doesn't tell us about cause and effect. The survey is a way of getting people's attitudes, beliefs, opinions. So it's usually given in a questionnaire format, although it can be given in an interview format. And many people have probably taken surveys themselves. Um, one problem with a survey is self-report bias. So for example, if I gave a survey asking everyone how much they enjoyed introduction to psychology, they might pretend to like it a little bit more than they really do, just to make me happy or something like that. A case study is often used as an early investigational method. So for example, if there's a very rare brain disorder and they don't know a lot about it, they might study um, several patients or one patient very in depth over an extended period of time to try to find out more about the disorder. One basic research method in psychology is naturalistic observation. Think of it as people watching, except less creepy. So basically what you're doing is you're just watching people in their natural environment rather than experimenting or manipulating anything in any way. So a developmental psychologist might watch children at play in a playground and take notes and observe how they interact with each other. Whereas if they would go and interview the child or talk to the child, it might somehow affect their